As we near the end of the 1991 college football season, do you realize that a football fanatic in the state of Florida could come down with a case of delirious trimmings? I mean, three teams in the national polls, top five. This week, Governor Lawton Childs has been wearing this hat. Number one, Florida State. Number two, Miami. Number five, Florida. He's going to need that in two weeks when Florida State goes down there, but at least he's not wearing a hole in his hair. Today, we've got number one Seminoles against number two Hurricanes. They meet in the capital city of Tallahassee. It is a national championship. One versus two, speed against speed. Do whatever it takes to win. The blood's going to be flowing. You're a little bit more hungry to play against a number one team. If you're going to play Miami, you're going to play the best. Yes. Miami is tough. We're real tough. If they're going to gamble, we have to beat them when they do gamble. The receivers are probably the quickest in the country. Some of those are definitely tougher. Some of those are quicker. <laughs> man for man, we're a lot quicker. Very elusive. I use my quickness more than speed. We're going to keep you off balance. I want to make you run uh, from sideline to sideline. I love to run with the ball. If you practice making big plays, you don't try to force the big play. It comes to you. It's going to be a battle until the end. All it boils down to is who's going to win one of these. Yeah, let the big dog hunt. Stop. So here's your first play of the ball game. The Miami Hurricanes from the 26th. The ball is swung out to McGuire. He's got some room to work. And the big guy from Brooklyn is all the way out to the 40-yard line. And it's a first down for Miami, a pickup of 14 yards. McGuire is back in there at the running back position and has the ball and has daylight. He has a big game. He's inside the 15th first down for Miami. Florida State's people just overran the play, and all of a sudden it opened up. They're knocking on the door. Give it to McGuire. He's short. He's got a touchdown. He was inside the pile and rolled into the end zone. And the late call says six. And so the Hurricanes go to the lead, seven to nothing. Ball is just over the 35. It goes back to Anthony, and this time. Miami's quickness shows up, and there's a loss of about a yard. First time for Florida State. Casey Weldon rolls out and get a little more room, a little more time. Runs out of time. Armstead, number one, was blocked, bounced up from it, and joined Rusty Medeiros to make the tackle on the Florida State quarterback. 20. Lee with the ball. Great play by Hurley Brown, the strong safety. Number eight. Second down, 11. Weldon gets it off. They've got a screen set up for Amp Lee, they thought. But Michael Barrow just came like a runaway wagon and belted it. Hard line. Weldon back. Sack. Third sack in the ball game. It comes from Corwin Francis. 12 for 109 yards and an interception. Can't get rid of it. Darren Klein, the sophomore from Aurora, Colorado, had walked off earlier in the ball game, uh, beat up. It's around. They need three points. Werder from 45 yards out. Plenty of leg, and he got it. Carlos Huerta. 9.48 to play now. And it's a six-point game. 16 to 10, Florida State. Beretta looking around, looking around, lobs it downfield for Bell. That's a good catch. Beautifully touched pass. Great catch, huh? Oh. Coverage was there. Toretta finally threw this one away instead of taking the sack. He just threw it up high. Bell is 17. It's a slow block. Fuller, McCarvey, 26. He doesn't see the ball. 
and then Bell uses his height to go up and catch. That's a big boost, big play for the confidence of Gino Toretta. McGuire. McGuire's got it. Runs right over a man. Takes it all the way down to the 15-yard line. I mean, he just flat ran over Leon Fowler. Take a look at the offensive line now. Just a stretch. Everybody stays on the man in front of him. That creates a gap. Searcy, 73, got a cut block on the defensive end, which created a little crease. 16 to 10 ball game. And on fourth down, the Canes are going for the bundle. Toretta back quick, lets it go. Pass is complete. Pass is caught. Pass is good for a first down and goal to go at the three yard line to Horace Copeland. That's his first catch of the day. Top of the screen, Copeland on Buckley. Is that a big catch or what? Jones in the backfield. Larry Jones. He has it. He's got a touchdown. Miami has scored. It wasn't terribly clean, but it was well handled by uh, the holder and the put in the air by Werder Good. And Miami leads 17 to 16. Team of uh, 23, 196 yards. They got him back at the 40. Nobody available. That's five sacks by the Miami defenders today. Number one trails, number two by a point. Weldon's pass is away for Terrell. He's in the end zone. He's got a penalty flag. There's a penalty flag. Ryan McNeil was defending. Ball was right on target, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, you try to score. You try to score safely. You don't take any big chances. But he's got to remember his field goal, his field goal kickers have been his problem all year. Amply slipping and sliding, and we'll get a couple of yards to the 16, and that's all. It's oh, they're gonna kick it now. Okay. They're kicking it on third down. Who's out there? Thomas or Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, eight of nine in his field goals. His long one, 40. This will be a 34-yard try, and this is for a win. This could be for a national championship. It's up. Missed it to the right. So what? I'm sure is their attitude because they have just done a howitzer. Win for Florida State. He had enough leg. But he couldn't pull it back inside. on the wrong side of the uprights. How close was that, huh? On, and run one more play and then possibly kick it on fourth down. So Miami takes over the ball at the 10 and all they got to do is snap it. touched his knee and then threw the ball up in the air and the prancing and dancing is on. Miami Hurricanes all over the field at Bill Campbell Stadium. The clock ticks into history. 
Your final score, Miami 17, Florida State 16.